here we go daily sea check and the sea looks great still a bit windy we're definitely diving today this is day three of our bow rattle trip we're finally going to get to go diving yesterday we had an amazing experience in Hanifaru Bay snorkeling with 70 mantas absolutely fantastic but we're here for the diving and that's what we're going to do today we will go at least one more time into Hanifaro snorkeling with the mantas because it is the season and we want to take full opportunity of it. So for now, we're off to Daravu Divers and we'll see if we're dive, doing a Dhoni dive in the morning, then boarding Ocean Manta or if we board Ocean Manta and go straight out to sea. Anyway, we'll be in the water this Big morning. Thank you to Lisham. Thank you. He's, see you again. He's got the best guest house beach hotel on the island remember these are not four or five star properties and they're not supposed to be so don't come here if you're expecting a resort if you want a laid-back relaxed excellent lifestyle sir lisham and he's top man in the restaurant sir hale this is where you want to be we've had a great time at this hotel it's called the livis blancuda which means spanish for Y beach highly recommended darrow divers recommend them as well so definitely worth a night on the way in and a night on the way out at the very least. <laughs> Different kind of 
of coral, you will find all around a lot of caves and overhang, so it's kind of mandatory to have a torch today to enjoy at maximum here. So, once we will start diving here in the beginning, there will be a very big cave, and usually there is always a big school of snapper fish that is uh, outside, swimming outside. So, if the current is not too strong and the low has to go, once we jump, before we start our dive with the right shoulder, we will try to reach this cave this exactly in the tip of the reef. You can go inside, it was really very big, and you will see all the ceiling with small soft coral, gorgonian cigar, black coral bush, it's really rich. And then once we see the first of these caves, where we can go because it's about 20 meters, so two meters more is a long okay? Then we will start going and follow the reef. You will see that between the main reef and the tila, there is a kind of slope that is like a kind of not really sandy slope or rocky, but a lot of blocks will be here and there, so you can easily swim amongst these blocks. There will be a range of sweet leaves, so oriental sweet leaves, the pyjama fish that is typical here, a lot of beautiful fish life. And last time we died here a few days ago in this area where the current will split, so it will be a bit stronger on the top of this uh, tiller. It will split in two directions, we'll go this way and then we'll go in the back. So we will keep the right shoulder that is more interesting, otherwise here will be the inside the lagoon that is so so. So pay attention to always stay in the outside part of the reef, so keep the right shoulder. And here, last time there was a big school, huge school of cedar fish, the blue one, and gray reef that they were swimming around, jackfish, so it was really, really, really nice and rich. Once we spend a bit of time here, then there will be some place where I will Jessica, because she would like to show you as far as possible, we'll speed it up a little bit, because they are the less interest part, so in this way you can visit more or less all this tila, because anyway, the main tila will be kind of long one to finish. So once you will start going a bit around 25, 28 meters, there will be beautiful coral blocks with Borgonia, Tifan, even some small swimming through, that if it's possible even, so there it's possible to go through it. And then slowly, slowly, you will start shallow up.
second die sight now. I forgot to mention on the first time, right at the end, a turtle came up to the people who were learning to dive and then to Stevie afterwards. And when I first saw what was going on, I thought they were harassing him. It wasn't the turtle, it was harassing the divers. It was a people turtle. He just, seeing the footage, just came coming in for a nose coming back. It was like he was, you know, feed me something or something, or pat me or something. Of course, we're never going to do that. But yeah, he was very the friendliest turtle in the world.
was the second dive on Long Tiller, or the or Diggle Tiller, as a bit old. Digger, Diggle Tiller, I think it was called, and which means Long Tiller, and it was long, especially when you're swimming against the current. So, yeah, not a bad dive. Got, got a couple of nudie branks, um, which was good because I wanted to try out my new Hero 9 and the Backscatter 15 see what sort of images we got. Um, there were a few fish around, some jacks and things. And not not as much as I'm used to seeing in the ball dives. And I think that was just because of the current. The viz was pretty poor. Again, it's plankton season. You're going to expect that, so that's not a complaint. There were um, eagle rays around and some sharks, but I didn't manage to see or film them. So that wasn't the result. But nice pleasant second dive, hopefully I'll be diving with the current for the rest of the trip because I'm glad I got those new Maris fins. <laughs> Oceanic Manta, our home for the next six days. There it is, there's a cockpit where we're gonna eat and drink. Thank you very much. We've got a full week of Jessica. Don't know if I can take that. I'm always here. This is my cabin, very spacious, lots and lots of storage. Um, definitely going to be very comfortable here um, there's lots of ventilation but we do have air conditioning if we need it and here's the head a nice big man-sized toilet and the shower there so yeah very going to be very comfortable here no complaints at all there's my portal room with a view as they say salon just the way I like boats to be simple not a touch of veneer in sight except for the tables and a little bit of wood on the trim on the cabinets this boat is definitely made to be low maintenance on this interior this is what you need when you go long distance cruising you do not need anything fancy absolutely perfect as far as I'm concerned and look at the size of the galley the chef's there just making lunch for us hi, hi chef how are you Islam. Islam yeah this is Islam he's the chef where are you from Islam I'm from India India which part in South Goa Goa yeah okay good <laughs> any Fenny on board any Fenny Fenny. Fenny. Yeah. Uh, is, uh, yeah okay. But not in Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the helm. There. And this is the cockpit. What a great space. You know. Plenty of place to relax. I mean there's only Stevie, Diane and me on this week. They only take four divers anyway and I'm looking forward already to coming back on this boat and I've not been on the first trip. Here's the swim deck and diving deck and how cool is that? You know, you just put your kid on straight in the water. Really, really nice. I think this is one of the best liverboard decisions I've made in my life. Hi Islam. <laughs> This has got the side deck, nice handrails there. I wonder if they call these the shrouds or not. Say you'll have to know a little bit about it. I wouldn't profess to be an expert. Here we are on the fore deck. Nice trampolines. And look at these seats. <laughs> if you're a bad boy, that's where you have to stay for the whole trip. Jessica obviously like this is her favourite position. So you can see that. Just absolutely superbly 
well laid out. There's a sun deck up there under the sail. Obviously, we're sailing, but it will stand up. The other side, another trampoline. Another naughty boy chair, as I'm going to call it. Hi, what's your name? Musa, Captain. Ah, oh, he's the captain. Very poor guy, Captain Musa. I'm following Jessica. It definitely helps to be small on boats like this. Underneath the halyards again. Back round to the swim deck and our diving station, so to speak. I'm going to look for Jeff Sicker. Ah, oh, she's over there. Yeah. So I go through the cockpit again. Up. Oh, now she's going to show me the amazing space, I she calls know. it. I've got to mind my head. I'm always bumping my head. Wow. And just look at this. For you sun worshippers and sun goddesses, this is where you're going to spend the whole trip when you're not in the water and eating. For me, I'm not a big sun fan really, but look at that. Just look at that. I mean, this is going to be nice just to be up here in the afternoon just looking at stuff. But this is really the last shot of Caravadu for the next few days. I don't want to see it again. Nothing against you guys. But I want to go to sea. And there's the mask. Jessica, it's a really photo baby. Every time I got the camera out, she wants to be in the picture, which is okay with me. So, Jessica, Jessica, what's some details on the boat, please? What type of boat is she? Where is she made? It's a Voyager 500, 50 feet. 50 feet. It's made in uh, South Africa. It's really strong. And how long have you been in the boat? Three years. Wow. Not the best moment because we got just the pandemic. But anyway, they're hoping to make a lot of money. So viewers, let's all book trips on this boat with the lovely Jessica and Darabandu Darabandu Divers. Aravandu Divers, there she is. You see, she loves the camera. I'm sure she was a model in her former life before she took up diving. Now we're off out to the open sea and you can see it's quite a narrow entrance. So there's no room for error if you've got a strong current or a strong wind. That's the end of the day. We're moored off Reefy Beach Resort, a resort I know very well. It's not very friendly to YouTubers and divers. I do have a video in the making about this resort, which will be up sometime in the near future. But yes, I stayed here for a week and didn't manage to dive because they wanted to treat me like a scuba diver who not died for six months and was, as I had just come off the liverboard I didn't take that bit personally. By the end of the week they said oh you didn't dive with us and I said you need to learn how to deal with people. Anyway that's enough said. Got a bit of a breeze but we're anchored in shelter. There's the reefy beach. Just look at that sun behind the clouds. It's...